Okay, just filling this up till it gets to the max line. Okay, leave the water running. Let's put it over here. Put it over here. Put the top on. Like that. And now let's take this cup. Get some water from here. Okay. And let's just put it right here. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Flower Cup TV. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Viewer UVRO Pot. Yep, it's a six stage filtration system, reverse osmosis water system. So it fits on your countertop, it's smaller than a microwave. And it's pretty easy to use. Now, right quick, I already installed this water a little bit past the max line, but I really usually just fill it up to the max. And the same water that's in here that I got from my tap, I put in this cup just for reference. Now, what I wanna tell you about this Blue Viewer pot before I use it is that um, it's been pretty easy to use. I initially bought it for my plants. And if you look on this side here, it shows the filters that it goes through these filters and a UV light. So it has six stages of filtration. I think the, the other stage of filtration, I think the other stage of filtration is what I'll show you inside of here a little later, which is probably the, the first form of filtration that it goes through. Okay, so in order to use this thing, and as you see right here, it got some instructions on a quick setup guide. This works. If you follow these instructions, but I'm going to show you how to do all of this, except for the initial filter setup. You can do that when you get the machine, because that's very important. It's best you read about it. Okay, so right here, this is how it looks when it's on. And... It tells you the TDS PPM amount going in and the TDS PPM coming out. It goes through the UV lights. And these one where it's numbered one, two, three, and four, that's the filters that's that I just showed you on the side. Those are the RO filters. And when they add full, like number three is, that's basically brand new. Um I haven't changed it since I got it. I've been using this machine for about three to four months, maybe six months, I'm not sure. And I made a lot of water with it. So like I said, I initially bought it for my plants and those things is just telling you. So if you need to change it, you will see those levels drop down all the way. Now on the bottom, you see the pictures, the little things that's, the little thing that's blinking on the right is three of them. Right, you see that one is low. That's if you want to fill the water, the RO pot up low. And that's the water level for the middle one. And right now I got it on high. So what I did was I went ahead and put some tap water in here. And now I'm going to press the cycle of it. So after you, you could use this right here to select the water level. See, it? that'll let it be lower. That'll let it be like half a pot, and this will let it be a full pot, right? So this bottom one is to start it watering. So I'm going to start it watering now so you guys can know in real time what it's doing, right? Now, it takes a few minutes to come out, but what it does is it takes the water from here, and it's two holes in the bottom of these pots. It recirculates the water in there and it takes the good water and push the bad water back up into the tank 
into the water tank. And as you see now, it came back out. It came out already. Now, if y'all see that little cup under the bottom, that's the remineralization filter that I added on that. That's optional. It's, I got two of them. You can screw it off, like a half a screw, and then it comes off. But this re-adds the water after it goes through all of the filters and the UV light, which is totally purifying the water. As you can see now, it gauges the water on the whole total thing as it's going through. And I have pretty good water to start with, but as you can see now, it's filling this up. Right here, it says 1700 milliliters max, which is true. Now, you need about 36, almost 3700 milliliters for a gallon, so two of these and a little bit, right? So when I timed this, I timed it and it took about three minutes and 30 seconds to run a full cycle of water. So it's been great. Like I said, I got it for my plants, but now my plant reservoirs have gotten way bigger. So I, I need way more water. So I'm gonna get one to go under the sink. And right now I mostly use this water just for drinking water, right? And I might use it for small things around the house because it does put out a lot of water per day, but it does take a little time to get the amount, especially with me, sometimes I do 45 gallons, 60 gallons, 30 gallons. So that takes some time to accumulate all of these, as you could imagine, if you just add up the time. And I told you it takes about uh, three minutes and 50 seconds each run. And then you got to empty this out and fill it back up with tap water. And you got to empty this out and then fill it back up with tap water and let this run again. So I would say about four minutes per run maybe close to five. So it takes about maybe a, a good 10 minutes, I would say, to get a full um, gallon, maybe a little less for eight to 10 minutes to get a full gallon. But the water comes out clear and pure. And this remineralization cup right there that's on the top of the water, make sure it adds the essential minerals back to your water because it strips it and this also has the UV a UV filter you don't need it but I wanted the one with the UV filter they do, do have another model that's a little cheaper than this I got this right off of Amazon I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys in case you want to pick this up it's a countertop portable RO filter Right, so if you live in, I live in a town home and I wanted to find something where I didn't have to go under the sink and, you know, put an RO filter on there and mess with the pipe. So if that's the issue, if you don't want to drill a hole through your pipes and stuff like that, then you'll pick up something like this. They have other ones on the market, but this one was in a nice sweet spot price range for me. And like I said, I got it for my plants when I'm growing organically or just drinking regular drinking water. This is perfect, right? It's easy to make a couple of gallons of this, five gallons of this in no time. And you don't have to have a big reservoir sitting anywhere, right? So this is a very good filtration system for those type of things. I use it for drinking water. I have a water cooler, the normal water cooler, you know, where you add Poland Spring five gallon bottles. And that could get pretty expensive over the time. Like keep on getting water from Poland Spring or Nestle or whichever one of them. It, those places are good for water, but it's two things that the costs add up 
So monthly, your monthly bill on the water system, I don't know how much it is, but me, I noticed buying those five gallon bottles, you, I would get like six a month or whatever, and the bill was like 80 or 90 a month. So I tried to figure out a way to um, save some money. And this water, you could still use it for like cleaning or stuff. I would not, you're not supposed to drink this water or anything, the water that's left in this tank. So I discard it. I get rid of it, put it in my, um, this is how you do it. You lift it up with this handle, right? And then I put it right in here and I dump it. Dump it right there, and then fill it back up like this, tap water, until you hit that max line. All right, so as you see, it cleaned our water very well. You can see how it looks on countertop. That's my microwave, and this fits right there on the countertop. And you can turn it around or sit it however you want. Okay, so this is my TDS meter. It reads PPMs, parts per million, total dissolved solids, and it tells you the temperature. Something else I got off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. As you see, it's set on zero. And that's the reason why I use this cup because this is the tap water that came right out of my faucet. So you can see how much it really was. It was about 145. And now I'm gonna pour this water, this, so you can see. This is a one gallon pot. And see it's almost a half a gallon at that little line. You see that marker? See that dot? That dot line is a half a gallon. And see, that would be the one gallon dot right there. It said it came out at four. So now we're gonna cut this back on. It tells you the temperature of the water, see? It's cold water. And now I'll put it in here. And this is reading 25, 24 parts per million. See how much it is now that we added the minerals. It was at four and now it's at 22. And as you see, that says 66 degrees. So you know the temperature of the water. So when you add the essential minerals back to the water, because this completely strips it. It stripped it down to four, as y'all see. So when it re-adds the water to it, let me show you how this remineralization cup looks. See that thing right there under the bottom? See, it comes right out and the water goes through there and comes out of here and adds the essential minerals back to your water. That's why it came out four, but it was 22 in here. So it cleans the water very well. It's perfect for what I wanted to do. So if this is something you're interested in and you want some RO water without doing the whole kitchen sink hookup, then this is perfect for you. They got two models. They got one without the UV light. Like I said, the UV light wasn't necessary. And you got a cheaper model if you don't want this one. You could use it for whatever. It says it makes up to about, I believe, 60 gallons a day. But I'm just being honest. I bought this with my own money. So if it did make 60 gallons a day, you would be there all day. It does a very good job cleaning your water. If this video helped you in any way, hit that like button. Subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this countertop six stage filtration RO pot. It's got UV on it. It's made by the company Blue Viewer and it's very simple to use. Thanks for watching. I'm out.